I'm excited because I get to tell you now about my favorite math symbol. So here's how I draw it by hand. You'll notice I put little tips on mine, but this is pronounced like sigma. You might also hear it pronounced as summation or sum. And here's an example of how you'd see it. This is the sum from j equals 1 to 5 of j squared. So let's break down the pieces. First, there's going to be an index. Here the index is j. Then there's going to be a start value for that index, which in this case is 1. There's going to be a stop value for the index, which is 5. And there's going to be an expression involving the index, which here would be j squared. So those are the pieces you're looking for. The index, start value, stop value, and expression. Now what we're going to do is take each value of j from the start to the stop and apply the expression. So here I'm going j squared from 1 to 5. So I'd have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. I'm just going to do j squared for each value of j from 1, which is my start value, to 5, which is my stop value. And so this is what it would look like if you expanded it out. And the reason that we have this summation notation is to make it so we don't have to write plus, 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 plus all the time. So let's look at another one of these. Let's look at evaluating the sum from k equals 9 to 16 of square root of k. We're going to be taking square root of every integer from 9 to 16 and adding these up. So this would become square root of 9 plus square root of 10 plus square root of 11, plus square root of 12, 13, plus, and this pattern keeps going. And the fact that this pattern keeps going, let's go ahead and write out the whole thing so we can see how much work we're saving by using nice notation. Now let's look at rewriting 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus 99 plus 100. When we see this dot dot dot, that means that we're, we're leaving out some values, but we think that the pattern... So I don't want to write 1 plus 2 all the way up to 100, so I use the dot dot dot. To rewrite this using summation notation with this Greek sigma, I'm just going to take this summation and I'll say whatever value I want. So I'm going to use the the variable n for my index. I'm going to start at 1 and go to 100, and I'm just adding up whatever n is. So that's what goes in place of my expression. So this is how I would rewrite this long calculation using more compact sigma notation. So another one of those, just so I'm sure we have the idea. If we're, suppose I wanted to rewrite 1 3rd plus 1 4th plus 1 5th plus 1 6th, and I wanted to take this expression and rewriting it using sigma notation. Well, I'm looking at the expression 1 over something, and I can call that 1 over whatever. I'm going to call that 1 over k. And I'm adding up the 1 over k's from some starting point to some ending point. So this 1 over k starts with 1 over 3, so k would be 3, and ends with 1 over 6, so k would be 6 at the end. So going from 3 to 6, 1 over k summation represents the same thing as this expression. 